the bee. And I'm Sally the beekeeper. Every day, Billy and his friends fly out of their hive to pollinate plants. These not only include many beautiful flowers, but also crops that have become important parts of the diets of humans and other species on Earth. Look, there's an apple tree that's flowering right now. I really love apple blossoms. I'm gonna go get some nectar. As Billy collects nectar and pollen from the flower, some of the pollen stick to the hairs on his body. When he flies to the next flower, some of the pollen is rubbed off. This allows the plant to reproduce and make a fruit, like an apple. Thanks, Billy! No problem! Me and my buddies work really hard, moving from flower to flower every day. It's tiring, but we do it since we know it's an important job. Important it is! Not only do worker bees like Billy collect pollen and nectar to provide a food source for the rest of their hive, but also pollinate plants that humans eat. This includes Billy's favorite, the apple, as well as almonds, avocados, tomatoes, broccoli, and countless other crops. Some crops, like blueberries and cherries, can be up to 90% dependent on bee pollination. Whoa, look! We've arrived in the state of California! And look over there! It's a bunch of almond trees! There must be lots and lots of flowers there! Let's go! Almonds are an example of a crop that depends on bee pollination. There are lots and lots of us here in California. In fact, California alone has 1.24 million acres of almond fields. But did you know that around 800,000 acres of that relies on bees for pollination? That's almost 65%! Wow! And it's not just California. It's estimated that bees are responsible for the pollination of enough crops to add $20 billion to the value of crop production in the U.S. Clearly, these are extremely important for many crops that require these little creatures for pollination. However, even crops that don't necessarily depend on bees can benefit from them. Let's see what Billy's up to right now. Hi again. I've just come across the field of some plant that I've never seen before. I'm going to go in to take a closer look. Hello there. I'm a soybean. Hi, I'm Billy the Bee. You're a bee? What are you doing here? We soybeans are very independent plants and we can self-pollinate. We don't need your help. Don't be so quick to say that. In fact, multiple studies done by scientists on soybeans have shown that they actually grow better when bees are present. For example, in Australia, yield increases of up to 40% occurred when bees were present. In Brazil, this number was 50%. So even though you might not need it, bees can still help a lot. Really? Wow. I guess you can stay for a while then, Billy. Yay! <laughs> Hello there. I'm Billy the... There's no need to be scared. Even though they do have those little stingers, bees are very important not only for many plants, but also for you, me, and other creatures living on planet Earth. After all, we eat things like apples, soybeans, and other plants. Without bees, these important food items wouldn't be so plentiful. Even some of the meat we eat benefits from bees. For example, one of the main parts of the diets of many pigs that are raised as livestock are soybeans. As we saw before, even though soybeans don't need bees for pollination, bees can still help increase soybean yields by a lot. If you like eating sausages, ham, or any other pork product, you've got to give the bees some credit. Really? Thanks, Billy. <sighs> it's been a long day of pollinating. I'm gonna go head back to my hive now. Bye! If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this. See you next time on Billy the Bee. Bye!